To the Baldwin County Beat, hope tonight for dozens of unwanted dogs facing a death sentence in the Baldwin County Animal Shelter. This week, they've received a pardon in an attempt to clear the shelter and save their lives. News 5's Debbie Williams has that story. The Baldwin County Animal Control Center is full. You can find anything in the shelter. It just depends. Um, there's, you know, purebreds that show up here sometimes. There's small, there's large, there's medium, there's black, white, you know, red. I mean, there's, it just doesn't matter. They've got them all. Many may think of an animal shelter as a death row for unwanted animals, but this week is different. We want the pet population to be in homes, not in shelters. Shane Smith travels the country helping shelters find homes for dogs literally waiting to die. He calls it Shane's War. The goal is to get the shelter more support. Emptying the shelter is what happens when the town works together. Have a pardon for every animal. So county and shelter employees signed a pardon for the dogs waiting to be adopted, and for one week, none of them will be euthanized. <laughs> It's tough. It's very tough. And in, in, in that in that respect, it might be a war yeah. because you have to find a space for every animal. If this is a war, they do everything they can possibly do to get the dogs out alive. The battle this week is to empty the shelter. The lives of 66 dogs depend on it. On the Baldwin County Beat in Magnolia Springs, Debbie Williams, News 5. This week, adoption fees are reduced to half price. In the last year, the shelter has improved its placement rate to 91% with hopes of one day becoming a no-kill shelter.